you always have to love movies that include dogs. And the dog, I think, is one of those things that helps his character ground his humanity. Because like he says, you can I can still you can still get infected. I can't. So again, it, it kinda it also gives him somebody to have dialogue with instead of him just being crazy and talking to himself. Again, just gotta love a movie with dogs, right? Anyway, uh, let's look at settings in science fiction. These are often speculative. These are, again, po possible futures or possible alternate realities for modern day. Um, a lot of times if they're modern day settings, these are alien invasions. What would happen if aliens came to the planet right now? They could be also time travel as well. What happens with time travel? And time travel is a common motif in a lot of films because it allows a lot of hypothetical what ifs. We could deal with timelines. We can deal with technology. We can see how does this impact that impact. We see that butterfly effect. You know, the old saying that a butterfly flaps its wings in, um, in Shanghai, China, and there's a monsoon off the coast of South Africa, um, South America. Um, you know, Across the world, there's a whole different effect because the winds changed and caused a turbulent. It was like a domino effect. So, and I think Malcolm in the Jurassic Park clip earlier mentions that ever so briefly. And um, Ellie says, Phew, you know, like over, over my head. So, uh, before the 1970s, a lot of science fiction um, was sterile, well ordered settings that bordered on utopias. And a lot of this got reversed and changed when Ridley Scott came out with Alien. And Alien was the first movie. The second movie is called Aliens. Uh, and Alien kind of reversed that trend. They come across this industrial, derelict spaceship on a moon, and it's just this grimy surface. You can I took a snapshot of it because we don't need to see a scene of that. But you can see it's, just, you know, it's a very industrial setting that we have going on here. Exploring that science fiction motif of time travel, um, I want to show you the loop, the trailer for Looper because it just gives you an overview of the plot and you can start to see where this goes. And so it's all about time travel and what are some possible implications of time travel? Is it legal? Is it not legal? What do we use it for? And of course, it's never good for us humans, is it? So I'll see you after the clip. <laughs> 